Now that you have completed the citizenship application, you can begin preparing for the naturalization interview. Let's take a look at what you can expect when you are invited to USCIS offices for your citizenship interview. Juana Santa Maria. Door three, please. <coughs> Are you Juana Santa Maria? Yes, I am. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth? Yes, I do. Please have a seat. May I see your green card and passport? What is your full name? Juana Carla Santa Maria. Where were you born? In Chile. Do you wish to change your name today? No, I do not. Would you like your full name on your certificate of citizenship? Yes, that would be fine. How did you come to this country? I was petitioned by my mother. And when did you become a permanent resident? I have been a permanent resident since January 2001. What is your birthday? I was born on June 9, 1984. How tall are you? I'm 5 feet 6 inches. When was the last time you traveled outside the United States? The last time I traveled was in 2005. And where did you go? I went to Chile. Did you stay outside the country for more than 6 months? No, I was gone for 1 month. What other trips did you take in the last five years? I took two more trips. One to the Caribbean for four days and another one to Chile for five weeks. What is your address? I live at 74 Cecilia Drive in Pertamboy. Are you currently employed? Yes, I work at Peterson Plumbing. Are you married? No, I'm divorced. Was your husband a U.S. citizen? No, my husband was a permanent resident. How many times have you been married? Only once. Do you have children? Yes, my daughter is one year old. And where does she live? She lives with me. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, ma'am. Have you ever registered to vote in the United States? No, ma'am. Do you pay your taxes? Yes, I do. Have you ever been in a mental institution? No. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? No. Have you ever been a member of a terrorist group? No. Since becoming a permanent resident, have you ever called yourself a non-resident on any tax return? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Could you please repeat the question? Did you ever call yourself a non-resident on your tax return? No, I did not. Have you ever committed a crime for which you have not been arrested? No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been to jail? No. Have you ever been a prostitute? No. Ever had any problems with alcohol or drugs? No. Have you ever helped anyone enter the country illegally or lie to a government official? No. Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. What is the Oath of Allegiance? It means that I'm loyal to this country, and if there were 
uh, war, I'll fight for it. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I would. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I would. Okay, Miss Santa Maria, are you ready to take the civics portion of the test? Yes, I am. How many states are there in the Union? There are 50 states. What country did we fight during the Revolutionary War? We fought against England. What is the Constitution? It is the supreme law of the land. If both the President and Vice President die, who becomes President? The Speaker of the House. What are the three branches of government? The executive, the legislative, and the judicial. What is Congress? Uh, is the House of Representatives and the Senate. For how long do we elect each senator? For four years. That is incorrect. It's six years. But you don't have to answer them all correctly. Who is the head of the executive branch of government? The president. What are the first ten amendments to the Constitution called? The Bill of Rights. Who said, give me liberty or give me death? Patrick Henry. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. What kind of government does the United States have? A republic. What special group advises the president? The cabinet. OK, that's good. I'm going to dictate two sentences to you. Here is a pencil and paper. Please write the first sentence. Are you ready? Yes, I am. OK. I like living in New Jersey. That is correct. Here is the next sentence. I want to be a United States citizen. That is correct. Congratulations. You have passed your citizenship test and will become a U.S. citizen today. Please check this paper and make sure that all the information is correct. If it is, please initial your name where indicated and sign over here. Do I sign on this line? Yes. Please write your entire name and then initial here and also here. I'm returning your passport and green card. This paper indicates that you passed your citizenship test today. Please complete this form also by filling in your name and address and checking no in all of these boxes. And then go back outside and wait in the waiting room. They will call your name in the next hour or so and when they do, please bring your green card and this form to the window. Then you'll have a seat again, and you'll have to wait for the oath ceremony. All right, thank you very much. You have a great day. Congratulations. Notice that when Juana did not hear or understand the question, she asked the officer to repeat the question because she did not hear it, not because she could not understand it. 